a very special guest for us, uh, for the fans of IndieCage.pl, uh, Maria Mahmutova. Uh, the only one I've known, a uh, woman who is scoring the MMA fights uh, in our Russian organizations. Hello, Maria. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Um, I know that you are not the only one because I saw some pictures of, of the other girls, but um, from the referees from here in Poland, I've got uh, some great information about you and they are only talking good about your work. Uh, I think that uh, this is nice to hear from men that are scoring the, the, the fights, that woman is doing her, her job very very well. <laughs> yes, it's a great pleasure to know it and as as I work in a man men's world, yeah. Okay, uh, so I would like to ask, uh, is it hard um, to, to scoring the uh, fights that may, most of them they are uh, fights of the men, um, uh, also in ACA there are only men fighting, um, is it hard for a woman to, to score it or maybe you just forget about um, the sex and uh, you just uh, thinking about what they are doing there in the cage? Uh, just for now it's easy mm -hmm. it's your job you have to work good and uh, sometimes I think that uh, it's like uh, you are a doctor mm -hmm. just you don't think about gender you don't think about uh, about shame maybe mm -hmm. uh, no just you you don't look on the guys you uh, you have to to observe what they are doing inside the fight and that's that's why it's not uh, it's not difficult for me I don't think about it like this and maybe sometimes it's much more difficult to watch girls honestly for me maybe just because uh, I don't score um, many times girls yeah yeah and where did you find your passion, this, uh, this passion for being a, a referee, to, to score the, uh, the fights? Uh, do you also make MMA, or also do the sport? It was not my passion. <laughs> it's what, it was just like one time I, I, I became to do this. Uh, uh, I practiced uh, MMA. Uh, um, I had... I had private classes with my coach. Uh, I worked in fitness in, uh, area, and it was interesting for me just to try. I liked boxing. I like I liked MMA. Uh, just everything that uh, could include striking or punching. <laughs> okay. uh, yes, because I had a lot of energy, uh, and I needed to. To do this, mm -hmm. so and he offered me to try as a judge. I, really, it was crazy, just because I I didn't understand how and who 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 I am to do this, but mm, it was curious, and I decided to try. It was like, okay, let's do this and let's see <laughs> what will be. <laughs> how long are you doing this? Mm more than six years mm -hmm. yeah and uh, I was um, I was bored that time and I wanted to try something new and it was absolutely new uh, n uh, new for me so uh, I decided that I I want to know more about this and and now that's why I'm in this area yeah. What's the hardest part of being a, a scoring judge, um, about being sitting um, by the cage and, and, and judging and scoring um, the fights? What is the hardest part for you? Uh, to switch off my emotions. Not because I know uh, that guys uh, who are inside the cage, but it's my uh, inside inside talk between me and be between myself I just sometimes it's difficult because uh, I think uh, women are more uh, emotional that's why and of course I think that I'm re responsible for for the fighters and I I have to do my job well and uh, I know that they are professional and I have to be 
maybe much more professional mm -hmm. yeah to to, uh, to score and to value what they they make inside the cage so sometimes it's difficult yes. Well, about the situation um, and the difficulties be between having your emotions and being a fair uh, judge for, for the fighters, uh, I have to ask about the situation from uh, 2016 and the fight uh, between uh, Yemal Yanenko and Maldonado. You are the only one judge that gave the draw in uh, in this fight uh, every other judge gave uh, a different de um, decision and uh, this fight ended with a major decision for Yamal Yanenko and then it was overturned for a draw uh, after the fight, uh, the minutes after the fight, when you've got the information that other judges made the different decision, did you have any doubts in your kind of uh, scoring this uh, this fight? Did you have some thoughts, okay, maybe I did something wrong, or maybe, I don't know, uh, how did you feel uh, when you, s uh, you saw that you have a draw and everybody else give the, uh, the, uh, any uh, different decision? What were your thoughts about it? Mm. Being the judge, I knew that I was right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Do you think that this uh, this fight um, was hard for other judges to to to, to judge because of this was Yamal Yanenko? Of course, of course, it was for everybody yeah. there, and for me, for me too. Yeah, but um, no, when when you know the person and. Uh, and it's much more difficult maybe but uh, if you know that you have to go and to um, to do your job uh, you have to understand that your private relationship your friendship maybe or another yeah yeah relationship inside uh, outside uh, the cage uh, are the difference uh, so your judge and then in other things uh, yeah yeah but it's difficult to um, to speak about that fight i know that for everybody there it was very difficult and there were many thoughts about this but the life is going on <laughs> yeah. and what do you think about overturning the um, scoring of the cards of the, of the fights because uh, there are sometimes the situations that um, I don't know um, a company a promote a promotion or or any um, people from the um, corners of the fighters sometimes have doubts for the uh, for the um, uh, decision in in some kind of fight and then they are coming to you and say you know I don't know why did you give him a point not me and so on and so on and and then do you think that overturning the fights and giving uh, some other decisions for those fights that had in the that they were in, in the past is a good decision or maybe we just have to left the decision and uh, so it, it was oh it's a tough question very tough because uh, uh, so you know like a judge I can say that I I don't think that it's a good idea to overturn the result uh, just because um, it's it's a judge uh, officials qualification uh, and it, there are many different situations there are, uh, usually uh, you can hear or you can see the questions and the discussions about close fights so what is it close yes. you uh, as a judge you have to explain why you see uh, this result why uh, why you scored this way but not just like mm, I saw I saw it no you you really have to uh, to explain every part of the of the round step by step step uh, just for for people and we I think uh, we judges are professional we we know mm, this is our job we know the details we are not uh, spectators we are not audience we are not fans no emotions so uh, as a judge I don't like the overturning of course we we make we all make mistakes 
yeah, honestly, <laughs> just we all people, yeah. You are just people. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, there are uh, another mistake, so it's not a mistake, uh, just um, in my professional judge career, I, um, I didn't know that situation. Sometimes I'm glad, but you know that maybe sometimes uh, there, are, uh, there is a team who know, knows that uh, they have to to score another way, maybe, mm -hmm. unhonest. But I'm happy uh, there was no suggestions, such suggestions. Great. Okay, uh, last year you've been awarded by International M MMA um, Federation and they give you an award for the official of the year. What does it mean for you? Uh, I think it's a very special award. It was a great surprise for me, uh, uh, really, uh, just <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I was there with my, uh, with my friends, with the colleagues, I ate my salad, uh, 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 was talking about something and just Mark Gordon uh, pronounced my name, it was uh, like a salad, <laughs> salad out, what's, <laughs> what's going on? You didn't even um, expect that this will be this will happen really really yes it wow. uh, yes and um, it's a great honest and it's a great responsibility now yes to show that a really good judge and uh, yes uh, the, this was not a mistake to give me this award uh, I, I can say anything about my job maybe they know more about me if they are giving you a word so I think that you deserve uh, deserve it but uh, I think that the great um, uh, thing the, the great thing that uh, uh, you were awarded is also that you're a woman because as a woman I understand that it is hard to work in this kind of world when um, almost everything is doing by the men um, so uh, it's something special when um, women are getting Think awards like an officials of the year and uh, from this great organization like uh, IMAF and also I think that um, the other organizations the other promotions are seeing your job because you are the only one local judge that uh, worked in UFC in Moscow as I know yes is it true just as a judge yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so uh, I want to ask about it because uh, in April it's not official yet because UFC didn't say it but uh, in April we've got another um, event in uh, Russia uh, so do you have any information are you going to work there uh, not yet I'm waiting for of course mm, I would like to work again just because uh, UFC, of course, UFC uh, is a, uh, the famous uh, organization in this area, and uh, uh, every everybody uh, would like to try to work with them. Not be, be just because uh, you can become famous. It's not about television. It's because it's really difficult to work there because. Uh, you have uh, you have to explain your job you have to explain your scoring and people uh, really um, see uh, if uh, whether you're professional or not mm -hmm. yeah so uh, it, it's like an exam yes <laughs> yeah and uh, to um, if you want to uh, to grow your skills to be better in this, you, of course, you want to go high. Yes. And if you could say, uh, if you could name um, one, two, or maybe three, uh, the biggest referees in your um, opinion, uh, I think I'm talking about active um, uh, j uh, judges and referees. Uh, not only the scoring uh, judges, but also those who are working in the cage. Uh, who would you name? <laughs> so I. Uh, I'm happiest person, I think, just because I uh, I know I know all of them personally. Uh, uh, they are my mentors, and uh, I'm I really I'm very happy that uh, I I think the, these persons are in the history mm -hmm. already. Of course, first mm, he's not active now, but uh, Big John McCarthy, yeah, yeah.
he's my first teacher, mm -hmm. really. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, um, I took some seminars. Uh, I'm going to to continue, uh, and uh, it's tough. Uh, it's uh, very, <laughs> but uh, but he's a legend. Yes. Of course, uh, he was first. Herb Dean, mm. we work with him always. Uh, I know him. I respect him. I'm happy that uh, I can I can invite him. I can ask him something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Mark Goddard, of course, just because uh, I um, I was in a seminar. Um, uh, he provided and. Uh, uh, I think he's my uh, he's my mentor too, and uh, he helped me emotionally a lot. Yeah, yeah. I feel that he's my friend. Yes, yeah. And so uh, we worked with him in a world championship, and it was great uh, pleasure and it was great experience to work with him. And he was a main judge, and I liked it. Is it often that you uh, speak to each other between the, the referees and judges about some scoring the, the fights that already are closed or uh, do you um, have some, some arguments about the decisions or maybe you just leave the, uh, this, these things and don't talk about it because this is your job, you are doing the job uh, during the fight and after the fight it's over for you and you don't speak about it, you don't discuss or, or how does it look like? No, of course we have uh, we have meetings and we need it uh, just because there are many uh, difficult fights, really difficult rounds, and sometimes we just uh, after uh, finishing uh, uh, the event we just like <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> yes, and we have to discuss. We have to discuss just to understand more. Just because yes, we are different. Maybe we have different opinions, but uh, to to be better, we have to work together. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay. My uh, my last question: uh, Are we going to see you in the cage? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Of course, not fighting. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Fighting never. <laughs> so there are some chances that uh, you are not going to only score the the fights, but also be a referee in the cage. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I take it. Um, yeah, uh, Maria, thank you very much for this talk. Uh, I'm not going to ask you about ACA uh, 92 because uh, I think that this interview is going to be on the air uh, after after the the event. So let's not talk about this. And uh, I know that you are not able. Well, you, it's not it's not good for you to, to score uh, to, to to think to give your tips um, before the before the fight. You you don't should uh, should shouldn't do it. So so I'm not asking about it. Uh, thank you very much for this talk, and it, it was. A pleasure for me, and I hope that is uh, our first time, not last. Oh, thank you very much. It was great pleasure to talk with you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you.